It starts harm again, people. It's vault time! Hello and welcome back to Vaults. Now as we left off last time I just showed you how to make the massive great destructive bombs in Vaults and I promised you that in the next episode I would show you how those bombs go off and what they do. We're going to be starting with the Contagious Explosive. Now I'm going to have to be in creative for this otherwise I will die almost instantly at pretty much most of these explosives. There's a fire from one of our earlier uh, videos still going on over there. I don't think it's going to go out. So these unfortunate testificates, they are the subjects of my first explosive. And uh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm using a flint and steel here. You can use more or less anything that te that activates normal explosives to set off bombs. Yes, a contagious explosive will set off hunger, weakness, virus, and blindness. And it's not very nice. As you can see, almost all of those certificates, well, I think they're actually dead after the anvil explosive in the earlier episode. So, sucks to be them. They are dead. Sorry, guys. And there we go. So, the second explosive we have is a sonic explosive. Now, considering those certificates are no longer here, we might as well blow up their home. I'm just going to dump these explosives since we no longer need them, and they will be blown up in the explosion. <laughs> now, oh my god, that is just a beautiful thing to watch. Sonic explosives, one of the easy ones to make. Burst your eardrums, and <laughs> it does this. Now, I do have 3D settings turned on, but I can guarantee you, I tr I can guarantee you, I tried uh, that explosive without uh, 3D settings on and it does the exact same thing so even if you do have shit running Minecraft like I know how you feel guys I really do know how you feel I was there myself but I now no longer do so I know that all computers can handle stuff like that now the next explosive we're going to move on to is the breaching explosive and quite luckily there is a tiny little NPC village here, it's quite small. This is genu genuinely spawned in. As you can see, some monozit actually managed to come all the way from that explos explosion all the way over there to here. There's stone over there as well. So, sorry guys, I'm going to break down your houses. As you see, it's almost an in instant effect. Uh, pretty much nothing you can do when it's gone off, it will erupt immediately. And it's pretty damn powerful. It will blow up an easy amount. That testificate has just walked into where his home used to be. There's lava pouring everywhere. There's actually a chest in there. Is there anything in there? Yes, there is actually. I've never looked in there. Huh. Ah, so that's the breaching explos explosive. Now, luckily for us, there's still another building. So the next explosive we're going to move on to, uh, we've just used a breaching explosive, so I'll get rid of that, is a thermobaric explosive. Now, for this, I'm going to travel into this snow biome for reasons you will soon discover. And pop it under there. Flint and steel. There we go. So it's going to back off a little bit so you get the full effect. So, it's sort of like a mini nuclear explosion, that, that bomb just makes a massive hole in everything, it's quite deep, it's coal, iron, everything, there's well, a bit of everything actually in here. So, that was Thermal Barrack Explosive, thank you and goodbye. No, nope, I don't want you moving there, thank you. Right, the next explosive we have is EMP Explosives. Now, as I said before, I'm not entirely sure what this explosive does. These testificates might just be, have to be our guinea pigs, I'm afraid. Sorry guys. Yeah, so, as you can see, that EMP explosion is designed to take out uh, satellites or anything electrical in people's bases. Unfortunately, I don't have anything electrical uh, to show you exploding, but that is the effect of it. it might, of course, we have nuclear left now. I'm not going to do that. First, I'm going to do exothermic. So, 
So, we're left with five biggies. Anti-gravitational, ender explosives, hypersonic explosives, antimatter, and red matter. Why do we have a fence? No idea. Let's get, no, let's get rid of that. Okay. So, explosives, anti-gravitational. Anti-gravitational, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go into the sand biome for this. Now, I quite like the effects of this one. As you can see, complete lag fest there. Now, I'm not flying upwards. It actually suspends blocks. As you can see, again, this is not 3D. This is actual blocks. I can't even destroy them anymore. They're actually just going up by themselves. I, I've just taken myself off fly. I have to go really far out to avoid it. But if we can try and get a bit closer. Nope, no, we can't. As you can, oh, I've got Optifying, have I? No, I haven't got Optifying on this patch. You see, all the blocks have just popped off. They're all pick up a couple of blocks now. Ender explosives. Now, um, for this, I I really want to show you what it does, but then again, I don't. So we're going to go with it anyway and see what happens. I'm going to have to fly quite a way back for this. Uh. No, 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 no. I'm actually straining myself there to get away from that. Now, you may have thought, oh, just a casual explosion. I know it's a casual explosion, but there's a reason I didn't let that suck me in, and I really hate myself for this, but I'm going to show you what it does. This is going to be so time consuming, and you'll see why. If you get sucked into that explosion, you will end up here. Yep, you will end up here. You will end up in the end. Yep. So, quite annoyingly, the way, as I showed you before, to craft... Uh, um, can I fly? Yeah. The way you craft that bomb is with enderstone. So, unless you spawn it in, you can't actually uh, get to the end without it. So it's kind of annoying. You can't get to the end. But that would be a great grenade just to troll your friends though. Now, I the reason I didn't want to come here is I now can't leave uh, till I kill him. So, bye everyone. See you in half an hour. I made it. It took me a while. You see, this is what I had to use to take out the Ender Dragon. There will be a video on it. I did record most of it. <clears throat> so, after that um, little ride, I'm now going to show you uh, hypersonic explosives. Right, let's see what happens with this then. Oh god, no! Cows, why? Still going, still going, still going, still going, gone. So yeah, this um, it's pretty much a sonic explosion, just magnified just a little bit. Oh God, no, cowie, why? So yeah, that's what hypersonic explosion does. And it absolutely ruins the landscape. Now, shall we set off a nuke? So, I've got a nuke. And, oh, I found some more cows. We've got about eight cows over here. What's that? I don't know. And these cows. I love that sound. Cows, evacuate the area. Cows, you will not survive. Cow. Boom! Wow, and as you can see it's actually opened up a ravine I don't think it actually did this don't worry it doesn't actually create ravines it's actually a double ravine oh, very nice now it will give you a uh, radiation poisoning of about a minute just because I'm on peaceful it will give you I think up to nine minutes that might be on normal though or hard I'm not sure yeah that is a nuke and as you can see here this is radioactive grass. 
I don't know if you can pick it up, not unless you have a silk touch pickaxe. But I don't know why you'd want radioactive grass. It will, after a while, spread and infect lots of other uh, grass blocks around it. So it's quite deadly, not only to you, but to the plant life as well. So that was a nuclear explosion. Now you're probably thinking, okay, you've made your point. Nothing can beat that. Or can it? So I'd like to introduce to you, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully it's ladies, not just gentlemen. I'd like to introduce to you the antimatter explosive. Exactly the same alarm, but you have a lot more worry for this alarm. Quite a long detonation period as well. Now this is going to kill my frames. That's not a sound glitch, that is the actual sound. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is an antimatter explosive. BOOM! As you can see on the minimap in the top right hand corner, look at what it has done. But look at it! Oh my, that is a nuclear crater. That is an antimatter crater. It now, you're probably wondering, how can we beat that? And guess what, ladies and gentlemen, you can beat that with a little thing called red matter explosives. Now, this, this is the pinnacle. Red matter, there is no coming back from it. Or is there? We'll find out after we detonate it. So, oh my god, look at the squid. So yeah, this is a red matter explosive. It is a constant explosion that will never ever go away. It's there permanent. Now, it's not a massive crater like what we have over there, but as you can see, it is just sucking in everything around it. I chose sand, because sand goes a lot quicker than most other stuff. As you can see, it's even spreading to the force now, and it's even sucking in the water. Now, luckily, there is a way to deal with red matter explosions, and it is called antibiotic. Because antimatter counteracts red matter. Now if we set it off there, it's going to go into the heart of that. Now, as a side effect, it may very well create an absolutely gigantic hole again. So over there we had lava pouring. In this one, we've got we've got Niagara Falls, really. So we've got, but nothing. The red matter has been extinguished at only the cost of this. Yeah. Uh, so, they are the destructive and not so much destructive explosives and weaponry used in vaults. Next episode, I'll be showing you how you, how you can deal with this absolutely giant hole with an explosive. So, Stay tuned for that. Make sure you check out our other Machine Bro videos we have many to choose from. My name is BlackKnife686. Hopefully you have enjoyed watching me uh, blow up my world. I'm now going to go cry in the corner. Goodbye.